Yay, it's Valentine's Day. Gee, bunch of bullshit. Anyway, I got mail today. So I don't know if another friend wrote a book or I got my own Joe Biden crack pipe. Or maybe, just maybe, I got a Valentine. Maybe I got a Valentine. Maybe I got a, a secret admirer or somebody who loves me so much and sent me a card. Let's we'll see. Nothing. Nothing. Just like Valentine's Day, it's a big nothing. It's nothing. I got one question, though. What the fuck did you people do before social media? How did you express love to each other before social media? Oh, baby. The post today. Oh, baby, I love you. My, my, I love you. It's been 37 years and I love you every day. Or 17 days or 6 hours or 2 minutes or 15 years or you know, 5 seconds. I love you, baby. Thank you. Get the fuck out of here. It's a Facebook post. If you truly love somebody, did you forget how to get up and walk across the room? Put your phone down. Walk across the room. Find your way for your husband or your boyfriend or your mistress or your sisters, aunts, cousins, whoever you claim to love today. Get off the phone. Put your devices down. Go across the room or the other end of the house. Pick up whatever and look them in the face and say, baby, I love you. Thank you. Because if you're sharing love, you're sharing an emotion. You can't share emotion through social media. You can't share an emotion through social media. Emotion is shared between two people or three people if you're a throuple. Whatever, you kids today. I can't even get a couple, never mind a throuple, but whatever. Good for you. But you can't share love through social media. you got to share it in human contact. Yeah, you know, when some of us who have been serially single for a long time laugh and make jokes about, oh, yeah, I haven't been laid in eight years. Oh, last time I got laid, picture it, Sicily, 1912. It's all jokes, but what we mean is not the actual sex or intercourse. I mean, anybody, even this, could go in a bar and find somebody to fuck for the night. It's more than that we're looking for. We're looking for passion and true intimacy. Into me see. Into me see. Intimacy. You can't get intimacy by looking at a monitor. You need to in look into me to see, not the monitor. Look into me is intimacy. That's what we're talking about. It's not just sex. Anybody can have just sex. We're looking, when we talk about, oh yeah, I haven't been laid, it's, we're looking for the intimacy where you see it in some couples, not a lot of couples. A lot of you couples, you're pretty shady. You're posting, oh, my love, 37 years, 10 years, two hours, three days, whatever. But we can see that you're really not into each other and you don't love each other. So why are you staying married? What, money? You don't want to get divorced? What, you want to give up the granite countertops? I don't get it. But I do see those couples that truly love each other. You can see it. The way they look at each other. The way they can communicate without communicating. It's just their souls are connected. You can see it. Yeah, the way they just all, you just see it. And that's what I'm going to hold out for. Something like that. I'd rather stay single. In fact, ironically, in the middle of the night, I was up and I happened to catch cheaters and there was so much chaos and drama and who's ch chasing who and cheating on who and throwing cake in some girl's face. I'm never going to fight a girl over a guy. There is no dude on the planet worth fighting somebody over. Because if it's true love and true intimacy, there would never be another mistress or another girl or that love of yours would never put you in a spot to make you feel insecure. True love doesn't do that. And I see that in some couples. I would rather stay in bed alone and not have somebody scratch my leg with their uncut toenails than be in a relationship like that. But if you're home today and you're watching all these posts and, oh my God, I feel so bad for myself because nobody loves me. God loves you. I love you. You don't need to be, have flowers to say, look at me, I got flowers. Look at me, I got a card. Oh, he loves me so much he gave me a box of candy, heart shape, box of candy. Yeah, he gave you diabetes. Does he love you that much? So come on. So I don't want you to feel bad. Maybe God's got a better plan for you. Maybe there's somebody he's holding out for you. Maybe he doesn't think you're ready yet. Who knows why some of us stay single for a long time. I know I'm awesome. I am a domestic goddess around my house. I cook. I clean. I can fry up the bacon and 
bring it home too, whatever. I know I'm awesome. I'm honest. I don't cheat. I'm loyal. Loyal to a fault sometimes. I just got faith in God that he's got something better for me. And right now that better is not in this location. I don't know. I stopped wondering. Yes, I'm too young to be alone, but I'm too old to give a shit and go chase it down. Because I'm not chasing nobody anymore. Not a friend, not a lover. No. So don't feel bad today, all you single people. In fact, you know how sometimes we do, well, we do, uh, for like Christmas, we have given trees where somebody deems a family as needy and less, for, less fortunate than we are. And we're feeling so blessed and we're so blessed. We have so much we want to give to somebody. So there's given trees and you go pick a name off the tree and you go buy them socks and underwear and some crap toys from China and you feel good about yourself and you've they're helping of us fortunate. Maybe Valentine's Day should be about a giving tree. Because if you love each other and you're in a long-term relationship, you should be expressing love every day to each other. Every day you can find a little small gesture to express love to that person that you claim to love so much. Whether it's you stop and pick up the milk without being told to, or you come home after a long day's work and you say to your wife who just worked her own two jobs and had the kids and took them soccer to this or whatever and say, honey, I got the kids. Go take a bath. Go meet your friend for coffee. Go do whatever. And you stay home and get your kids something to eat and bathe them and read them a book and put them to bed. Or you know something, the drawer that is broken and you just fix it without being told 17 times to fix it. Or whatever, a kind gesture. Go clean the snow off the car. There's a kind gesture every day that you can find to express love to somebody, even if it's just a kind word. Oh, honey, I know you've been working so hard today. I just want you to know I appreciate you. It's not hot into me, see, intimacy. It's not that hard to do that. Or just in a quiet moment, just take their hand and hold their hand for a minute and let them know that, yeah, I'm here with you. Maybe we don't, we don't have to talk every day. Just hold my hand and let me know things are cool. There's a gesture every day that you can express love to somebody. You don't need it to do it today on Facebook with fl overpriced flowers that they jacked up the price for today or a box of candy or some printed words on a card. Write the card yourself. Write those words yourself and hand it to them. Yeah? Or look in their face. Look at them. Look in their eyes and tell them, baby, I love you. Intimacy. So that should be expressed every day. So how about on Valentine's Day, we have a Valentine's giving tree. So for those that don't feel love or never get love or are needy and feeling like a validated human, we have a giving tree. And we pick those names off a tree and we send them cards or we send them a flower or we send them a heart-shaped box of candy they don't need. And or we do a kind gesture for them. Or we just sit and have a cup of coffee with them and have a deep conversation with somebody. It's not hard to express love. We're all God's children. We should all love each other. We can do that. So how about a given tree for those? We, I think we do it for military. Maybe we send them cards or senior citizens. Remember in third grade, we all had a little, make a little box out of the Kleenex and put some paper and sparkles on it and a little glitter. And everybody got a card in their little box for Valentine's Day. Whether you like the kid next to you or not, we still express gratitude for each other. Maybe we should do a Valentine's giving tree and just spread love to those that feel unloved because that's what depression and anxiety comes from. There's too many people in the world today not feeling loved. And today just compounds it all with all these stupid posts on social media. And if you love each other, put your fucking phone down. Go find the person and express that emotion to them. Look them in the face and say, I love you. I love you. I genuinely from my heart love you. Thank you for all that you bring into my world. And for you out there not feeling love, I love you. You are worthy and you are lovable too. Don't let anybody make you feel different. And don't make these stupid fucking Valentine's Day posts make you feel less loved. Because I love you. Happy Valentine's Day.